This video is sponsored by War Thunder. Yeah, you ain't gonna do anything drastic, are ya? We've been nothing but loyal. The Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Nexus is a veritable wealth of resources to spice up anyone's playthrough. Looking to increase the difficulty? Why not try stronger bosses and enemies to really test your metal? Or maybe you just want some additional cute hair options. Fire up Tav's Hair Salon, they've got you covered. But if you scroll deep enough, deep into the bowels of these pages, you'll find what can only be described as diamonds in the rough. So we gathered as many of these jewels as we possibly could. At least the ones that Patch 6 didn't destroy. Ornate mace hovers before we until the game that we know and love was no longer recognizable. Without spoiling anything else, let's see if we can beat Baldur's Gate 3 when it's been destroyed by mods. We start our adventure by creating our characters. Hunter x Hunter is by far my favorite anime, so when I found a Nin user class mod, I knew I had to try it. Just like the show, it goes very in-depth about what Nin is and how it works. And even more like the show, I've read it three or four times now and I'm still completely fucking lost. Who better to showcase this class than the famous Nin user, Ranny the Witch? Wash mine hands, why? just because I pissed. After getting dressed aboard the Nautiloid, I realized what Paul meant earlier when he mentioned going goblin mode. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna summon uh, my protector. Oh yeah, well look at this shit, bro. Not the comically to... large sp- ah! After an overly choreographed font flip, Lazel breaks her mewing streak to ask us for help. You see, turns out they implanted the parasite in her stomach instead of her brain, and it's growing at an alarming rate. Only a yassified cleric can heal her, and I don't know where we're gonna find one of those. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. We're aiming for peak immersion, obviously, so using Ronnie's signature rocket launcher, we're able to easily finish the foes aboard the Nautiloid. Once on the beach, it's time to assemble Faerun's own version of the Avengers. After picking up Shart, we're off to find our sassy vampire villain. Bro, is that the Joker? <laughs> the Crimson Chin? Oh my god! <laughs> Why Damn, is bro man. mocking so hard right now? And lastly, Lazelle before her water breaks. After freeing her, we realize her beautiful pepperonis keep slipping out, and we're not trying to lose our channel over a wardrobe malfunction. After a few setups and a brand new lightsaber, she's looking very monetized. Whilst testing Lazelle's new pistol, Paul completely caught me off guard. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> why, why do you run so fast? Cause I gotta make up for it, dude. Oh my god, you're so fucking... How did she get that... <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is that sound, man? What's that pitter patter? It's a fucking rat! Paul wants his build to really focus on his comically large spoon, so we're off to find Withers to change his class. Get fucked. Oh! I should explain that even though these mods are goofy and obviously overpowered, the weapons have different variations that get more powerful the higher the rarity. And we put a restriction on ourselves that we would only gain access to these more powerful variants when we've leveled appropriately. In addition to that, we're playing on Tactician with the mod's stronger enemies and bosses that I mentioned earlier. Now, I'm not trying to say that we've balanced the playthrough at all, but it has certainly made things more fun. Sheesh! Damn with it! Oh shit, the reveal? He's so beautiful! Next, we're headed to the Druid's Grove for some more XP. The goblins, of course, didn't stand a chance, but they did their best. Paul went ahead and changed his class to a fighter and changed Astarion to a dual wielding bard as well. Dual wielding in the sense that he'll have double pistols and double energy swords. Once inside the grove, we're headed straight for the inner sanctum. The unimaginable happens and the poor tiefling girl is murdered by Kaga's pet snake. Well done. The world's better off without it. 
After flash mobbing Scalaritus, we all hit level 3. This means every character gets the green or uncommon variant of their weapons. I also birthed the idea of turning Lazel into a Jedi Knight with the Eldritch Knight subclass. This allows her to use some spells that could kind of imitate the Force, but more importantly, I can bind her weapon to do a proper lightsaber throw. Before we move on, a quick word from today's sponsor. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made and is available now for free on PC and consoles. Take command of over 2,500 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships of 10 major nations, ranging from biplanes and armored cars of the 1920s to the fighter jets and main battle tanks of today. Immerse yourself in the intense combat of War Thunder, where incredibly detailed vehicles, realistic graphics, and authentic sound effects place you right at the helm of the most powerful war machines of our time. War Thunder has one of the most sophisticated vehicle damage models in gaming. Every vehicle is intricately modeled down to its individual components like engines, fuel tanks, weapons, and crew, all susceptible to damage or disabling from enemy fire with different types of armor, shells, and missiles behaving like their real-world counterparts. Join a community of over 70 million players in epic PvP battles today and delve into the breathtaking experience that is War Thunder. With an unmatched wealth of high-quality content to discover, there's simply no game better suited for fans of military history. You can play War Thunder now for free on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox. Use our link in the pinned comment or video description to sign up. New players and those who haven't played in six months will also receive a massive bonus pack on PC or consoles that includes multiple premium vehicles, the exclusive vehicle decorator Eagle of Valor, 100,000 silver lions, and seven days of premium account. It's only available for a limited time, so don't miss out. Now back to the video. In an attempt to expose Kaga, we went to the swamp to find the evidence needed to oust her. One misplaced nin punch landed the entire team in a pretty difficult situation. Surrounded by methods and covered in mud, we wondered if this would be the end. That is, until he showed up. How are we gonna get out of out of this one, Paul? We've really got our so oh, oh, an, an onion ring. What? What's what an, that? What does help? that do? Is that? That's not gonna summon help. what? Oh my God! Dude, yay! Shrek is here to save us. <laughs> yay! With Shrek's help, we're able to easily finish off the remaining enemies and even Kaga's gang of shadow druids. Come on, buddy. What do you got? Action surge. Oh, he can uh, action surge. Yeah, he can. Tenacity. Tenacity. There you go. Yeah, he got her. Good job, Shrek. Nice. Got him. On our way to the goblin camp, Gale informs us he's a tad peckish. Normally, this would be incredibly annoying and inconvenient, but we've got the perfect mod in mind. Are you tired of Gale constantly gobbling up your precious magic items? Sick of forking over your ring of flinging just to prevent nuclear annihilation? Introducing Gale Food. Gale Food are boots that can be purchased from most merchants here in Faerun. They're charged with just enough magic to sate his incessant nagging. Just use Gale food how you normally would when offering magic items and BAM! Watch Gale's frown turn upside down. Now that Gale's tummy is full, let's go kill some goblin leaders. After inviting Glut to an exclusive dance party, we catch her off guard and throw her into the deep abyss never to be seen again. <laughs> By the way, what the fuck is down there? Like, obviously it's a lethal drop, but how long is she falling for? I mean, would it have been more humane to just beat her to death, maybe? Are we the bad guy? Minthara meets her usual end. This bridge is obviously not up to code, so it's kinda her fault. We've got one boss left, and we can't not use the mini barrels that are just laying around the camp. Godspeed. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of Act 1 is just a blur of lightsabers and large spoons. We killed Ethel, went to the mountain pass, killed literally every single Githyanki. What are you doing in there? Get out! Get out, son! That's supposed to be in there. New blood. Kinked on all. It smells rancid. Shoved a dwarf into another abyss. 
before we finally get to the grim boss fight. Now we may look big, but he's still hitting like a truck, and stronger bosses gave him way too much HP. Even after hitting him with that hammer over and over, we still ended up having to get our hands dirty before he finally went down. The residual XP brought us now to level 6, meaning we can equip our rare weapon variants. Before leaving for Act 2, we have a dance party with the Myconids to celebrate everything we've accomplished so far. Close your eyes and submit. A pause. Can you imagine if this was Peter Griffin right now, though? <laughs> I want it, dude! I want it so bad! Freaking sweet, Lois. Moving into Act 2, we're finally getting back on track. Thomas may look promising, but he's probably the most useless summon in this entire video. He has only one attack worth noting, and half the time it doesn't even work. Regardless, we manage to save the Harpers and move on. When we arrive at Last Light Inn, Livy Riz's baby Gronk. Thankfully, Maul steps in and gives her endorsement to a literal spoon-wielding goblin. We didn't hang out! I've never met you a day in my life, Maul. Once upstairs, we take on Marcus, but he's no match for our modern weaponry. Afterwards, we spice up Ronnie's appearance and move on to ambush the Drider. For once, instead of humiliating him, we decided to take him on the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Alright, Thomas. He's dancing too. What the fuck? Get, Get him, bro. Go, Thomas. Go, Thomas. Go, Thomas. Come on, buddy. Nice. Andy's dazed. Rest in peace, man. In case you didn't know, if you hoard enough gold, you can take it to old Jerry over here and fork it over. If you have enough, 5,000 gold, I think, she'll actually let you pass, giving you a chunk of XP as well as the signed trade visa scroll. We've been saving this entire run to show you this tip, so you're welcome. The people of Moonrise are up to their usual shenanigans, and we take this opportunity to properly introduce ourselves. Yeah. You ain't gonna do anything drastic, are ya? We've been nothing but loyal! As we move on to fight the other two Thorm abominations, I just quickly wanted to reflect on how awesome these mod authors are. The people who make these mods do so selflessly and for no other reason but love of the game. So next time you download a mod and find you really enjoy it, be sure to drop an endorsement and maybe even a thank you in the post tab. Arriving at the Gauntlet of Shar, all the trials are pretty easy considering we can teleport. But for the self same trial, we thought it'd be cool to jump Shart's clone with all of our summons. To help with the jumping, we even invited a real gang member from Grove Street. The beating doesn't last long since Blythe is a little too broken. Okay, here we go. <laughs> we were planning on siding with Balthazar, but his minions are being a bunch of meanies. There you go, he's dead. Nice, good job. With Balthazar dead, we can free the Night Song and prepare for the fight at Moonrise. Now, Zarel and her minions are pretty damn strong, but they're not six spectators strong. Playing as the spectator was actually super fun. You get two little tentacle attacks without using any actions, and you still get your bite on top of that. Needless to say, the enemy spent the entire time either paralyzed or turned to stone. Now, Gale is really itching to blow himself up, but we can't just end it all here. He'll have to settle for Barrelmancy instead. Isn't this just beautiful? It should be a big enough payload to destroy the entirety of the castle. Let's see what happens. Listen, y'all, it's been fun. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. We promised Flacketh we'd destroy Orpheus if she wouldn't mind taking this next fight for us. She of course agrees. This mod allows you to summon her as a boss fight as well, but I haven't the foggiest idea how you'd actually manage to kill her without exploits. Dame Aelin is literally immortal, so the explosion from earlier doesn't kill her, but the force of it bugged her model out and resulted in this. Flacketh manages to easily wipe out Merkel's Chosen and we move to the end of Act 2. The Emperor has some home intruders and 
and asks us for some help. After all the Gith are dead, he offers me our advanced Illithid powers. Paul wasn't able to join me in finishing the playthrough, so as punishment, I made his character eat the tadpole. This, of course, had some side effects. Once in Riverwood, we went straight to the circus. We heard Popper had looted Merkel's boss fight and ran off with his weapon. However absurd this thing may look, the mod author actually did a great job balancing it, so let's give it to Gale. Now, Act 3 is as long as you want it to be. If you side with Lucius Malfoy, you really only need to kill Orin and head for the Netherbrain. So, that's what we're doing. First, we stop at Sorcerer Sundries for some knickknacks. Sharp found this really cool pickle gort weapon, which is essentially just a pickle with Gortash's face on it. If you don't understand why that's hilarious, it's probably because the humor is just too advanced for you. Mind Goblin also got this really cool Withers body pillow to replace his comically large spoon. Let's use it to kill a dwarf. If you didn't know, you can find Delore here at the wine tasting ceremony for the first time. Simply stun him so he can't run off, then bash his brains in. Withers body pillow go. Nice. It's stained in blood. It's probably not the first time it's happened either. This XP brought us to level nine, allowing us to equip our very rare weapon variants. With this bag of hands, we infiltrate the murder tribunal and feed them a taste of their own medicine. The medicine, of course, being a metaphor for murder because we murdered them. Now with the amulet of ball, we can go fight Orin or at least watch Blacketh fighter. Ooh, oh, it's happening. If you use her boss form, she'll just attack anyone around her. Of course, that also means us. No. No. What the fuck? No. Her and Oren had a back and forth for a while, and for a second, I thought maybe Oren was actually going to kill a demigod. But then some dirty rascal just summoned a fresh one. She finally dead. Ah, oh, she is. There she goes. Finally, dude. Now all that's left is the Elder Brain, but before we do that, I'd like to ask you to consider subscribing if you enjoyed your time here. We've already got lots of other Baldur's Gate 3 videos and even more on the way, so we sincerely hope you stick around. Now I pondered for a while on how to end this run, and no matter what I did, nothing really felt satisfying. So I just blew it all up. Just a little bit of bonus content here. One of the explosions from earlier actually blew open the gate towards the upper city or whatever it's called. So I don't know why it's destructible. We're never meant to even go in there in the first place, but using teleport, I was able to go around and look at some of the uh, out of bounds stuff. So that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We sincerely appreciate each and every single one of you. And a massive thanks once again to War Thunder for sponsoring this video. You can play War Thunder now for free on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox. Use our link in the pinned comment or video description to sign up. New players and those who haven't played in six months will also receive a massive bonus pack on PC or consoles that includes multiple premium vehicles, the exclusive vehicle decorator Eagle of Valor, 100,000 silver lions, and seven days 
of premium account. It's only available for a limited time, so don't miss out. And as always, thanks so much to our members for supporting the channel. Members get access to cool benefits like additional uploads and early access to our regular videos. If you're interested in becoming a member, check the description for more details. All right, we'll see you all next time. Later.